Hello and welcome back. We're back on TIG. So last time we went and left with this car. Now this car is going to be a little bit of a bear because we've got quite a bit to do. As you see, we've got two lists. Repairing all running gear faults, which has, yeah, that's going to be quite a bit. And then card is hard to control. So, we've got a lot to do on this one. So let's get started. Now, I know a lot of them has to do with the wheels and tires. So I'm just going to take all of them off. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's been a while, hopefully, I think last video we got to work with a, an exotic car. So, oh yeah, look at all these. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go ahead and start taking a lot of these parts off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I just do? Can I take this off without? No. Oh. I know the hub. I need to take some of the hubs off. Like that. Yeah, look at that. Front wheel hub. Oh, what? That's interesting. Okay, so I got that one. Bottom suspension arm on lifter. All right, shock. Right. Try and get everything off without having to put it on the left at first. Whoa! I went too far on that one. Take that one off. Take this one off. And what is that? Front sway bar? Yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, that's on the lifter. On the lifter. Okay, so we've gotten everything off of this side that we can with on the lifter. Okay, let's see. So if you're wondering, this is a Ford GT. And it looks like we're gonna have to do a lot of major things to it. Um, the wheel bearing looks good on this side. That looks good, that looks good. That uh, looks good. Alright. How about here? Hopefully, maybe it's on the front side only? Looks like it's good on this side. It looks like it's just the front side. That's interesting. Cause it seems like it all the lifts looks like it's gonna be from the other side. A lot more. Oh wheel hub. So maybe two wheel hubs? What is it? What? Oh. Oh. What? 
take the wheel bearing out first. Really? Huh. Maybe I've been doing things wrong. Okay. So, let's just actually make sure. Okay, wheel hub, bushing, ooh, rubber bushings. Ooh, I gotta find them. Double wishbone shock absorber, I think I got that one. Front wheel hub. Rubber bushings. Oh, that's right. see here front what how come I can't take the front sway bar steering rack no oh because I gotta take this off there you go there you go Alright, so I gotta take outer tie rod off to take the inner tie rod off to take the steering rack off. There you go. Alright, I gotta check some of these bushings. The bushing there. Um, bushing there. All these bushings look good. Right? You don't see anything, do you? You guys probably do, you guys won't tell me. Um, these bushings look good. All the bushings look good. Yeah. So maybe they were just part of the bottom suspension arm. Alright, let's go ahead our handy dandy computer, and well, well, let's go to inventory first, let's see here, ooh, we got these to open too, after this, so we got wheel bearings, one, how many other wheel bearings? Two, two, there's bushings. Okay, good. All right, so two wheel hubs, two wheel bearings, a rear wheel hub, and let's see, what was the condition it has to be? 69%. Okay, hmm. These are good, these are good. Good, good. So wheel bearing, front wheel hub, outer inner tie rod. All right, let's go ahead and get those first. So wheel bearing, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, what, uh, uh, oh, okay, no, I don't want to take a picture. Let's see here, uh, exit. Nope. Back. There we go. No, we don't want to go to the rim. Parts. There. Now we're getting somewhere. Bearings. Alright, so wheel hub bearing, we need two of these. Okay, and then we need a uh, outer tie rod. And an inner. And let's just do this. There. Okay. No. 
All right. Let's see here. Where, where, where are we at? Okay. So we got that, that, and that. Front wheel hub here. And a sway bar front end leg B. These are good. All right. Let's do it so we don't keep lose track. Front wheel hub and a sway bar front end. Wheel hub. Uh, front wheel hub. One of these. I know I need one of these, but I don't remember if it was a B or uh, just a regular one. Sway bar. Front end link B. Oh, shucks. Yes, link B. Link B and a B. So B's. Rear drive axle B. All right. So one of these and wheel hub B. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere slow but sure. Hey, the rabbit won the race, right? No, the snail did. All right, so we got that. We got the second, no, the drive axle B. We got that one. And bottom suspension. Drive axle B and bottom suspension arm. Uh, axle. Front drive axle B. Yes. Front. Front. I'm going to go with that. Need two of these. Drive back to the rear. Rear. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Well, there goes that one. So it's a rear. I got the real wheel hub B. Suspension arm. I got the two rubber bushings. And then front sway bar. And a steering, that uh, was in the front, it was a steering rack. Oh. Rear drive axle, bottom suspension arm, and a steering rack. Steering rack. Steering rack. That's one. Drive axle. Rear. 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 Rear drive axle B. Suspension arm. Okay. Uh, upper. It looked like that. I gotta make sure. I don't have a very good memory. Okay. So where to go? Oh, sway bar. I need a sway bar too. See? Glad I did the bottom suspension arm and a sway bar. And that's all we need. Bottom suspension arm. B? Oh boy. You guys are probably like, oh, duh. Nope, regular. Regular. Let's 
sway bar and a front sway bar regular regular please say it was regular yes haha -ha. okay so we should be able to let's see here right here suspension part mount all right let's get this in there yes okay oop didn't get that one did i Sixty nine, that was barely barely got it. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so this should be done. Okay. Oops, I was pressing the wrong key. All right. Just like working on mechanical things, you know. It kind of is. It's kind of pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put these on. Next, uh, let's put a new one on this side. Real hub. Wait, I don't want the cap yet. I want the wheel hub, wheel bearing. There's one in there. All right. Okay, this side should be good. I'll just do this. That way we'll make sure that this side is good. Right? Okay, this one is missing that. Uh, no. So, here it is. Double wishbone shock absorber. No, I want to actually separate it because I need to know what parts. Uh, this is a s separate parts, that one. See? See? Alright. Whoops. Okay, so now that it's separated, should be able to look at where, okay. Front spring, front, sh that's good. So spring and a double wishbone shock. Spring and a double wishbone shock. So a spring, front spring. Double wishbone shock. Uh, uh bo bone, yes. Double wishbone shock front. All right. So now we can go back to this, and we should assemble that. 
Uh, and 83, yes. Perfect. Everything is looking good so far. Take parts, and this one should go in here. Part mount. Double wishbone. Yes. Got that one. And we should have the wheel. There we go. Oh, I guess it's the uh, at first. Uh, that's fine. Break disc ventilated. Yeah, it's only sixty nine. Cap. At. That, that, yes. And then the rims. And then this part. And you know what we should do? Car status. Rear drive axle B. Rubber bushing. Wheel bearing hub. Rubber bushing. Oh. Alright, so I should. Heart mount. Curious how this is huh. this is totally I'm still missing the rubber bushing though. That's going to be a pain in the rear end to find because there's so many rubber bushings. Status. See rubber bushings. Okay, how about this? So these are good. These are good. I just need to look for rubber bushing. Where would the rubber bushings be? Which ones? Uh, yeah, that would. This is not cool. I gotta take them all off again. bushings. There's some there. Eleven percent. Yep. Okay. Good. What? Uh, okay. Bushing, bushing. Pushing. Okay, we got one. Okay, we know we need 
two of them. Alright, so let's go ahead and replace that just to be on the uh, up and up on end, and then we'll replace this. Getting phone calls left and right now for my work. <laughs> All right. I have a feeling. Uh, my feelings are always usually wrong anyway. Rubber bushings, nope, those were good. See, on the parts overview there, it actually shows that those were good. So, see. All right, so it's somebody and it's something in the rear. Which I'm willing to bet it's the one that we replaced the the side this side because this is the side that we replaced the drive axle. So we'll go with this one. No, really? Wow. Huh, curious. Oh, we didn't replace any of these here. This one down here. Thirteen percent. There it is. So it was that side. It was just a. Oh, what am I doing? I already bought one. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Oops. Uh, suspension part mount. That. Uh, and we'll go with the eighty-one percent and the one hundred percent. Perfect. Shock absorber there, which is 78%. And the tire. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to call this good and done. Hopefully. Yes, 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 yes. And this one, yes, yes, yes. Okay. And we will finish the order. Cool beans. Alright, so now let's move this move car to the lifter. And let us get our next one. Ford F350. Cool. Oh, DLC only. I don't think I have this one. Wait. No, I should have it. Bernino Piccolo or the Royale Blanc. That's a no-brainer there. It's F-350. Take the order. Timing. Ooh, we haven't done timing yet. Okay. We'll take that one. Let's go take a look at it. Oh, beautiful. Super Duty. Super Duty Diesel. Let's sit in it for a little bit. 
amount of detail they actually put in this game to these car actually pretty neat nice okay so that took us a while what's this gonna be ABS might as well break discs. Maybe this is not going to take too long. Let's go ahead and try this one. Oops. Alright, ABS module. And what? Break disc ventilated. That's usually the front. And break disc. Looks like this one. Break disc ventilated. Okay. And the break disc. Nope, that looks good. That's the one right here. How I can tell is because of the brown color. Alright. So then the ABS sensor should be. Oh, that's the one right there. Right here. Oh, this wasn't too bad. I thought I was gonna get need to get underneath. All right, handy dandy computer. Wait, do I have one already? I want to buy one if I have one already. All right. Yep, I gotta break this ventilated. Break this. I don't have a break this in ABS module. Module. Okay. Got two of them. I'll give them the 87% one right there. Okay. So, regular ABS module one. And break disk one. Yay! Okay, yeah. Two cars here in not too long of a period, which is good. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Okay, 87%. I'm gonna give them that one. Rim Classic 4. And last but not least, the brake disc ventilated. Yes. Screw that in. Status. Fixed. Finish order. Yay! Now on to this one. And let's just move it to the left. Get a new one. Ooh, the Mach 1! Sweet! Yes! 
Oh, yeah, baby. Mach 1. Look at it there. Huh. That's sweet. Maybe on the next episode we'll drive it around for a little bit. So, what I wanted to do is I wanted to sell these parts here. Um, and then open these ones up before we leave. So, sell this, yes, for one dollar. Anyway. Just recoup some of the stuff back. Uh, definitely not that, we can use that sometime. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, then let's open this one. Case content. Let's see what we get. Uh. It's like rolling the dice. Ooh, that might be a good one right here. Oh, it's only a one quality? Oh, yuck. Okay, well, I'll take those though, I guess. Um, I'll figure out a way to store these somehow too. Oh, this was good. Look, 0.9%. That gives a little turbo boost. I got three of them that give turbo boost. So that's always good. I can always sell these. I don't know if I'm going to need them or not. So. Okay, so as you can see, we've got $9,000 now. I don't know where we started. I never do because I never check, but hopefully there was a profit. Okay, well. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, squash that like button. If you feel led to, check out any of the links in the description below. Subscribe if you haven't and tap on the bell to get notified of more videos. Until the next time, remember, Jesus loves you. So be a blessing to others and keep lighting it up.